What is going on everybody and welcome to part 11 of our deep learning with Python TensorFlow and neural networks tutorial series. In this part what we're going to be doing is actually implementing a recurrent neural network and to do that we're just going to simply modify that deep neural network that we started with the just simple multi-layer perceptron model so we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to take that code from the machine learning series scroll down we're looking for how the network will run am I blind no there it is it's probably quicker just to search how the network will run by the way anyway at the very bottom we have the code I'm just going to copy that copy it and then come down here new folder I'm going to call it TF Tuts open that up and create a new document and I'll just call this RNN example.py and I'll open that up and paste that code in so now what we're going to first do is do some modifications so the first thing I'm going to do is from tensorflow.python.ops we're going to import RNN and the RNN cell now we're going to change some of these parameters. First of all, I'm going to get rid of this here because we're actually not going to be working with those. And then I'm going to move the how many epics from line 44. I'm going to move that. Actually, it's not line 44. Anymore. Well, at least for me, it is. Anyway, move how many epics and paste that up at the top where everything else is. Also, batch size we'll call 128. Seems like everybody kind of honors those those numbers like 64, 128. 256, 512, 1024, and so on. So anyways, uh, we'll go ahead and follow that. Now, we're gonna, now we get basically to X, but we're gonna add some new parameters. But in the past, with a t typical deep neural network, you just kinda, you just kinda pass everything all at once, pretty much. But with a recurrent net, the whole point is that you kind of, you, you go in some sort of sequence, right? So our images are 28 by 28. So let's just go in chunks of 28 pixels at a time. So 28 chunks of, or 28 chunks of 28 pixels, I suppose. Anyway, so we're gonna say uh, chunk size is equal to 28. And then we're gonna say n chunks, here we go, there we go, is 28. Now, the final thing that we're going to add here is we're going to say RNN size, and that's going to be 128 for now. So rather than having all of those layers, we just have the single size of the RNN, which for now is 128, uh, which will give us hopefully better accuracy even than our previous model gave us. But you could do something like 512 or something like that uh, if you really wanted. But 128 is good enough, and it'll let us run this really quickly on video and hopefully not mess up my camera too much. Anyway. Um, <laughs> So now, in the actual neural network model, let's rename it to recurrent neural network. And since we're actually passing x anyways, let's call this x. And then we're gonna get rid of these here all the way up to here. So from output all the way up to that first dictionary, press delete. Then, rather than hidden one layer, I'm just gonna call it layer. And then the inputs and stuff, let's just do this uh, in this case the the layer weights will be actually RNN size by the number of classes that we have and then the biases is just the number of classes okay and the output is still gonna be like some sort of data times the weights plus bias but uh, it's not it'll be basically layer biases layer weights and then this will be um we'll get to that let me just uh put a question marks here because we're not ready for that yet so we don't have that data so first we are going to take x and we are going to say x equals x dot tf dot tr uh or actually <laughs> tf dot transpose i was like something is wrong tf dot transpose x by and the transpose um, will be one zero two. And let me finish this these these next couple lines, and I will explain transpose for those who are not familiar. So we're going to transpose. We're also going to do x equals tf dot reshape, and we're going to reshape x to be negative one by chunk size. Chunk size. There it is. 
And then finally, x will equal tf.split zero number of chunks, mm, chunks, and then number of, uh, or actually just x. Yeah, zero number chunks x. So reshape, simple enough. Hopefully you understand what reshape does nowadays. Split, you should understand that. But transpose, we haven't really talked much about transpose. So let me go ahead and illustrate. So we're going to create a new document here. You can follow along or just watch if you want. I'm going to call it transpose example.py. Open that up. And I'm going to import numpy as mp. If uh, whenever you want to test any sort of matrix operation, you can always just do it with numpy for the most part. It's going to act the same way in TensorFlow, hopefully. And so what we're going to do is like, let's say x, x equals np dot ones, and then one, two, one, two, three, one by two by three. And then we're going to say print x, and then we'll also print uh, mp dot transpose x, uh, and then the transpose will be one, zero, two. Save that. Come down here, open in terminal, Python 3, transpose x. And then just to make this a little more simple to understand, I'm going to copy that, paste it down here. And like if we were to format this a little bit more, it would look like this. And then this one, whoops, this one would look like this. Okay, so you see that that ever so slight difference, <laughs> right? We're doing this because this is what TensorFlow's RNN cell requests of us. Kind of like with Scikit-Learn, we needed to reshape data for Scikit-Learn. We're just that's all we're doing here. We're just formatting the data so um, so TensorFlow is content with us. So that is uh, our modifications of basically the data. And then what we're going to do is actually pass it through. So we're going to say LSTM underscore cell. And that will be equal to RNN underscore cell dot basic LSTM, all caps there, and then capital C cell. And that will be a recurrent cell that, or an LSTM cell that will recur for the RNN size. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to have outputs and then states. So every cell will have outputs and states at each recurrence, I suppose. And um, the way we're going to do that is by running with rnn.rnn. The cell type is LSTM cell. The data will be x, and the d type will be tf.float. Whoops, tf.float32. Did I lose that print? I sure did. Oh, sublime. OK, so now. For that output layer, what would we pass through as basically that output, that final output? Well, that would be outputs, outputs, negative one. So it's an, a matrix, or it's a yeah, matrix multiplication of the final output times the weights times the biases. Okay. Then we return output, and everybody's happy. So now we're just going to pass recurrent neural network over recurrent or rather than just the simple neural network. Our cost function can actually stay the same. Optimizer can stay the same. Uh, again, that's with a default learning rate, which I believe is 0 0.01. It might be 0 0.01. I can't remember. But anyway, we're just going to use the default learning rate. Then coming down here, the major thing that we're going to have to change is basically write here. So recall that we're passing it through when we're running the session. We're passing the x's and y's. And right now, the x is what? It's that basically 784 long data. It's all of the pixel data because we're just grabbing that from the batches right here. So what we actually need to do is reshape epic x. So epic x actually becomes, uh, let's see, epic x 
is now going to equal epic underscore x dot uh, reshape. And we reshape to be the batch size by the number of chunks by the chunk size. Okay, let's, I'm trying to copy this. So we need that one to be reshaped there. But then because we're reshaping that in this exact way here, where else should we actually, where else should we be reshaping the X or the input data? Well, down here, when we go to measure accuracy, um, well, not where we go to measure accuracy, but right down here, where we actually calculate accuracy, that input, right, that input dictionary, we need to reshape the images. So again, under images, it is gonna have to be a reshape uh, here, dot reshape. And in this case, it's not, it's not, you know, we're not, we're not reshaping the entire batch size. So in this case, each individual image, so is, is all that we're, we're passing through. So you're reshaping by negative one, by number of chunks, cause you wanna, you don't need the entire batch, but you need the entire image. So chunk size. So it's just that flat kind of num number of chunks by num or yeah, chunk size. So just that one image at a time is why we're doing it. Why we're doing it this way here as opposed, okay, let's just zoom out <laughs> so I can do this. Why we're doing it this way here as opposed to what we had done. Um, oh, I'm lost here. Okay. So I think at this point, we actually should be able to run this. We'll see. Out of my way. Open in terminal, and let's run python3 rnn example.py. It is un, oh, it's very unhappy. It is unhappy mostly at x equals tf dot transpose x. Did we forget possibly? Okay, so I'm pretty sure my error is up here, of course. Um, so rather than like this X input is obviously not anymore by 784 and I it started to edit that and then I added these here and then I completely forgot that we need to modify uh, that. So really it needs to be none by the number of chunks by the chunk size itself. So hopefully that was it. Oh, I meant to change number of epics too. It looks like it's at least gonna run for us, but I'm gonna go ahead and change epics to uh, three, just cause it's gonna go <laughs> a little quicker cause these, it might take a while. So while that's running, let's go ahead and view, let's zoom in. Wait for it. Massive improvement initially. And then even some good improvement. 10 epics is really what you ought to be using. But anyway, even with only three epics, we pass it through and we have 97% accuracy. If we just got a little bit more, we could round up to 98. So that's actually better than our deep neural network that we did before. But like I said, if we use more than three epics, uh, we'll definitely be better. It should be like 98 to 99% if you use, let's say 10 epics. Also, 128 RNN size, kind of small, so probably make that bigger as well, but just so we can really quickly get through it, I wanted to use something uh, smaller. So, if anybody has questions, comments, concerns, whatever, on any of the code or how we're doing something or whatever, feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support and subscriptions, and until next time.